Still on River State, political parties on Saturday expressed mixed feelings regarding the conduct of the local government elections in the state. They also cited the absence of some political parties as reason for low turnout of voters. Now, while the police have confirmed the explosion are the River State Secretariat of the All Progressives Congress in Port Harcourt. But despite the incident and protests in some parts of the state, some persons still showed up to vote. There is more in this report. These are police checkpoints, but there was not a single officer in sight. Materials arrived at about 9.30 a.m. at the majority of the various polling units monitored and voters exercised their right to vote despite the smooth operation of the units under observation, there was a low voter turnout. We arrive at the units, polling units, at about uh, after nine, I mean, not precisely said exactly, but it's after nine, maybe 17 minutes after nine, when we arrive there, a lot of people are there waiting for us to exercise their franchise, and we paste, we paste the people, the accredited voters, number names they check their names are there we fix in the place in order i and my other colleagues and everything went well we finished the election by around around um, um 12 45 we are done and people are still coming because we are done we started our counting and take picture even the royal highness of rope who came and meet us there some political party candidates had a mixed bag reaction concerning the way the process was conducted they have done a great job. Uh, the research led by retired Justice Elebene, I give him kudos. At least, should I say, 90%. And it's a welcome mark. I was called them very poor. They didn't do their due diligence. I understand that some interested party brought their brothers and sisters and are the people that research are using in their various polling units. You know, the, the agent is the, is, the, is the research person conducting the voting and everything. So, just like I was telling my supporters, how can cockroach be declared innocent in the presence of chicken? It is also believed that a few political parties' absence from the polls would have a big impact on the election's results. The turnout was very, very poor. People didn't turn out for the election. Like in my ward, in my unit that we, we just recorded about 2,000 persons. But I was surprised that uh, we were not up to five, five, uh, 500 that came to vote. But I will, I will not also be surprised when the results will be out, you will see them putting about 2,000 persons. I'm not surprised, you know, based on what I have seen today. It's not going to affect anything. As you can see, most of us are there. We just run it up now. We just run it up now. And it's not going to affect anything. Joseph Kunde, TVC News, but Hackett. It was not a surprise to many persons waking up on election day to news of an attack. Yet again, the APC is a victim of the controversial build-up to the council poll. The police say the assailants deployed improvised explosive devices here and at the Obiakwa Council Secretariat. Go around and see the level of the, the uh, uh, devastation that happened here. Now, what is the uh, question I'll ask? What is the relationship between APC State Office and the election they say they're holding illegal election as the day progressed attention shifted to some polling units in Port Harcourt, Obiako local government and other areas where voting was taking place we believe that uh, the election will be very peaceful across the 19 wards in river states and the uh, winners will be announced by the grace of so research has not done any error as voting continued Leaders and supporters of the People's Democratic Party and the All Progressives Congress were protesting, repeating their demand for the suspension of the election. If there is no PDP in River State, is there any election? No! No PDP? No PDP? No election is taking place. We want to assure you that for us, in the People's Democratic Party and indeed members of opposition who continue to be law-abiding. As opposition to the election gains momentum, one of the main contenders say it was a good day. We have noticed for the very first time, and I think that all politicians, I think that all politicians should take note of it. It's something that gives us credit 
that we could be matured enough, civilized enough, cultured enough to do our elections without the presence of police. And the other person, again, I need to thank for providing an enabling environment is the governor, even though his party was not in the ballot box. But at least he's still going extra mile as a leader, a true leader that he is, to provide a, a level playing field for all those parties who are contesting the election. Despite the few incidents of violence in some areas, participating political parties say the election was largely peaceful across the state. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Harcourt.